Right viewers, it's Ipswich time. You guys voted Ipswich instead of Schalke, and then on the Patreon poll, Ipswich won that poll as well. So we're here doing Ipswich Town. Yeah, which actually, team. yeah, it's a team that you actually quite like, actually. I isn't do, it? yeah. Yeah. As a as a neutral, any time Ipswich are on, I would prefer Ipswich to win. Yeah. And editor Sid's from the area. It's, yeah. it's his local team as well, yeah. so I'm gonna fail with them probably because anytime we do a, anything close to us, we don't do that well. Okay, we start off though. Let's take a look at our transfers in the first season. I say transfers plural. There's only one of them. Is now right? we right. don't have, have a lot of money. money. No, no, not a lot. And of course they're in League One, which threw me off because Argos League. Yeah, I thought it was in the Championship when we first suggested it. Well, then I realised they've been in the Championship for well, I think it was 17 years in a row. That's they got, what threw they me off. Get it, yeah, that's it's, what threw me off. It they are just a championship side, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I did not really. Well, I, I wouldn't say I didn't realise, but maybe it was a case of I just. Uh, oh, there always are in the championship. Yeah. I just assumed they would be. But no. Sebastian Proda was the guy I brought in. He's 34. He's not a long term. No, he's not going to last in this reboot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but the reason why I brought him in uh, is because they don't necessarily. They got like two good centre backs, George Edmondson and Wolferdon. I think one of them is injured at the start as well. Right. And I think we need a bit more of a, a presence at the back there. So six foot four, he's not very fast, but defensively he's got what I think this league needs. It's not an easy league, neither. I mean, we, no. we know that through from Club Argo, so. Yeah. Uh, so on the outs, there wasn't really any that we that we released. Tactically, we're going to look like this going forward. And I've selected, I mean, this team is what we were playing in the most recent game Perhaps going forward. You do that, select every single player. Well, I can't say that it's going to be selected for the simulation. Right. I think this is just where I saved it for, um, I think, to be honest, I don't select anybody. I think they're good enough to just have a certain amount of players play wherever. But if we look at the tactic wise 4231 I think this team is good enough because they're predicted to finish top to get out of this league quite yeah. quickly. They've yeah. got players like Frazier, who we've we've seen in rebuilds before. We've signed him from MK Dons this season. Um, he is a fantastic player for this league. He can play in that shadow striker role, get a few goals. There's a few really good strikers. Uh, the midfield as well. They've got Carroll and Morsi, who Morsi's a really good ball winning midfielder. Great like physical attribute, so I like him, the, the Egyptian. And I think this is, I mean, the goalkeeper's decent as well. He's got a very good yeah. goalkeeper. He's 30 years of age, but for this this league, he's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, they've got a lot to like about uh, in Ipswich. So, I think we could be okay this season without having to sign anybody yeah. and going with a fairly attacking tactic. Hopefully, then. So, let's simulate that first Come season. Come on. So, the end of the first season, and we gain automatic promotion. Get in. Yeah. I mean, we didn't win the league. We only lost it by three points to Portsmouth, another big team in that league. Portsmouth had 101 points. Yeah, I mean, it is 46 games. That often, boys. Yeah, so Oxford also won up in promotion through the playoffs. Uh, Plumvago down in 14th there, mid-table. So, I mean, we did all right, I think, as as Ipswich manager. Beat good start. The final. Yeah, absolutely. Good I mean, start. the end of it as well, oh, we, we win oh. those two games that we drew. We would have won the league. We would have won the league. League. So uh, it's not bad though, is no, it? All night promotion at the end of the day. Yeah. We're back to where we want to be. Exactly. We scored the most goals in the league by a mile. That's we actually true. scored nine against Argyle, so <laughs> that's great. Yay. Yeah, we had the highest goal difference. Yeah, we, we had a fantastic season to be honest. And we look at it statistically, we scored the most goals there. But if we take a look at like individuals, uh, Bon scored 25 goals. George Edmondson had a 7.72 average rating. So that's the reason why we're at the top. We've scored the most goals and we're doing really well yeah. so far this season. We are, of course, in other competitions. Now, usually in the cup, so you don't really stand much for chance when you're yeah. down the lower leagues. But we've got the uh, the Johnson's Pink Trophy, or whatever it's called now. Oh, Papa yeah. John's, I think yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah. It's some commercial brand. And other pizzas are fans, available. A lot of the fans don't don't like going to these games, or do they? they no, through these, these games, don't they? Because the under twenty ones. Yeah, the under twenty three teams are in it now, yeah, which yeah. is obviously frustrating. Because yeah. we didn't actually look at how we did at the start. We actually played one of them, mm. um, but there we go. We started off quite well in the season. However, I think the Ipswich fans would have liked going to this game because we won it. <laughs> We got our first bit of silver. A Get bit in. of silverware straight away <laughs> in season one. So there we go. We beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-1 in the final. So that's a fantastic yeah. start already to the rebuild, winning, yeah. uh, winning the trophy. And now that we've promoted, we can't even enter that trophy anymore. So <laughs> it was a perfect time to win it, really. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we've moved on. Let's take a look at the squad then and see the goals. The goals, okay, 21 of them come from Scott Fraser. The guy who scored the most goals in the league, he was only on loan. So uh, coming back on the 1st of June, his loan has ended. So we 
we can't see his statistics. All right. Uh, but he did score quite a lot that season. Uh, Scott Fraser also got 12 assists as well. Kyle Edwards, 12 goals, 14 assists, is a bit of a standout performer for the league. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think that's quite good. What I did want to check is uh, Bon here, Macaulay Bon. We loaned him from QPR. He's got 25 goals and 37 appearances, 31 across the season. So yeah. that's how he did with four assists, seven player of the matches playing in Ipswich. He's now gone to our championship rivals now, QPR. Yeah. Um, so we take, we take a brief look at the championship before we um, we do go on to the second season. Going down, we're going to miss Millwall, Peterborough and Blackpool getting relegated there. So QPR are staying in it. Yeah. Going up, Swansea, Fulham, Bournemouth. Now, Premier League, obviously, three teams are coming down. I yeah. want to highlight them. Coming down oh. is Brighton, Leeds United, oh. and Brentford. Maybe two teams that you would say are realistically coming down, but Leeds. Leeds, yeah. I'd have thought Norwich would have been there. Yeah. And it's uh, it's which local derbies then. Exactly. Where yeah. we'll cross past them at some point in this, I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll find the out. East, the East Anglian Derby, they call it. Yeah. Or the Farm Derby, I think the it is. Farm Derby. Yeah. Yeah. That's how mm. I that's, that's how I remember it. But yeah, I mean, so some surprising uh, names coming down there. Uh, Chelsea ultimately winning the league. Only just by Manchester United there by a point. Romelu Lukaku looks like he's had a fantastic season. Well, we expect that, don't we? Yeah. Right, on to season number two. So, on the outs, we had 140k on the outs. However, yet again, they gave me no, no money. money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've had to wheel and deal in the yeah. market to be honest. We've brought in Ryan Fredericks, who is, I think, a fantastic right sided player. Just for really his physicals, great pace. Four star, so I think where did he? Bournemouth. Oh no, West, it was West Ham, so he was on loan at Bournemouth, but yeah. West Ham is his club. We've got this loan deal, which I think is a great signing from Aston Villa. There's a lot of people speaking about this guy, a young, 18 years of age, and he looks fantastic. I think giving players like this a chance to go in the championship is, is oh. crucial for their development Definitely. but also yeah. way to find out like how if they're made for it because yeah. championship obviously one of the hardest lot, leagues a in lot the world. of the young players all over the, the seasons that's how they start their their, their professional career really isn't it? yeah on loan out i mean even harry kane yeah yeah a prime example yeah it? he came down to like leighton orient and, yeah. and norwich yeah. even yeah so he was there uh, matt smith from manchester city is a center midfielder who we are taking on loan uh, quite a good player as well for this league. A lot of 11s and 12s in there. This is who I think, because of course we've lost our top scorer now. Yeah. This is who I think will get us the goals this year. Dan and Lundlu, a great header of the ball. We can see good physicals as well. Yeah. Championship wise, I think he's a very, very good player. From Southampton uh, that we are loaning from. He was on loan in Lincoln in our league last year and got 13 goals in 38 games. Bad, yeah. I'm hoping with our management and our tactics that we can get roughly the same, if not more out of him in the championship more more that's what we need we're yeah. giving him the number 10 shirt as well so that's you know we're pinning our hopes on him really yeah. um we have nathan collins who is a uh, who is a really good wonder kid on the game irish 21 year old who i think is going to be really good at center back this year again we've got a few good center backs already but in the championship again there's loads of games yeah we need to fill those roles and there's two free transfers this man is a center midfielder cdm who i think is really good at passing more of a squad player Slovakian. The fact that I got him was just because he was a free transfer. We didn't have a lot of money, so it's just options, to be honest. Squad. We need a squad. And we, we lost the goalkeeper, so I had to bring in David Stockdale. Do you remember David Stockdale? Yes, I do, yes. Yeah, yeah. so he's Good played keeper. at a few few yeah, clubs, yes, to be yeah. honest, including Ipswich and including Plymouth Argo yeah, in 2019. That's what I remember. And if I remember rightly, he was sadly missed when he went back. I remember yeah, right. the, he played the really fans, bad for us. Yeah, the Oracle fans made him sort of like a like a god down here, and we, we presented him with shirts and things like that to, to say thank you for what he'd done for us. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fantastic yeah, goalkeeper. A goalkeeper uh, yeah. In the championship as well. So yeah. he's played at this level a number of times. He's also played in the champ in the in the Premier League uh, with Fulham here. I remember having a good season there. That's when he moved to Brighton for one yeah. million pounds. Look at his club like he's been everywhere really. Yeah. So uh, he, he's happy to be a backup goalkeeper, but what a backup goalkeeper to, to oh, learn yeah. under. I mean, thirty six so. is not old for a goalkeeper. I no, don't think. no, not at all. No, uh, three pace. So not very quick, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tactically, though, we are changing something because, of course, when we go into the championship, we're no longer the favourites like we were in League no, One. No, we're not going to be, no. So I've altered something and I've put in a ball in a midfielder. I've gone for the more of the, uh, the defensive option as a 4 3 3 rather than 4 2 3 1. Um, and this would be an odd season for us. First season in the championship would be an odd. Yeah. Because it's an odd league to play in. Yeah. Uh, what I didn't mention is obviously Manchester United in real life getting Ralph Ranick, the, the godfather of Gagan Press. Yeah. I tried to emulate the 4 2 3 1 around 
pressing really high. Mm. And that, this is basically the same tactic, but changing this. Uh, we are still playing a much higher line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, and getting stuck in with a really high trigger press. So as soon as they get the ball, we're on them. Yeah, what was you saying to me the other day? Was it, we'd lose a ball, try and win it back within 10 seconds? Try and win the ball back within 10 seconds, and when you win the ball back, have a shot within 8 seconds. That's right, That's yeah. like his philosophy. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I'm trying to emulate in here. Mm. And, uh, you know, by all means, I'm not a very good tactics creator, but I know a lot of people in the comments recently have been saying, we'd like to see your tactics a little bit more. So yeah. this is me just, you know, explaining our tactics. It's a very very high direct passing with a really extremely high tempo, yeah. well, uh, being a bit more expressive Klopp as well. Does it with Liverpool. You watch a quick Liverpool rock and roll then. football. Yeah, definitely. And Pep does it for Man City. You? Yeah. I mean, they've been doing it for years for Man City, and what a change Man City. What the difference between the two is when Klopp wins the ball back, he's very much like Ranić, wants to attack really quickly. Yeah. Whereas Pep's the other way around. They want to win the ball back quickly. When yeah. they get it back, then it's preserved. Yeah. It's ticky tacker yeah. football and pass it around. Yeah. They're more technical players. Whereas not to say Liverpool players aren't technical. But they are looking like speed is oh, a massive yeah. factor. I mean, we look at Mo yeah. Salah just ripping the league apart. Yeah. I mean, he recently we watched them last night. He, he oh, did absolutely it again destroyed that Everton, yeah. really, yeah. wasn't it? We got a shoot on sight as well, um, which I think is more like Ralph Ranić. He wants to shoot straight yeah. away. So yeah. this is what we're trying to do. We're uh, really high, being expressive, shooting on sight. So. I'm trying to emulate that in the championship now, but with a bit more of a preserved midfield rather than having this guy in the shallow striker role, which kind of makes two up top. That's what I'm trying to go for here. If we take a look at the schedule then, it's not been a fantastic start. Awful start. <laughs> what yeah. have we done? Um, so we, we started off with a great win. 5-2 against Leeds. Five goals against Leeds and a 5-2 win at Ellen Road in their first game back in the championship. I'm thinking... That's a hard place to go and play your first game yeah, as well, Yeah, I'm it? thinking this is a good start. Yeah. Especially after the, the, the pre-season we've had, uh, the red in then, that's when it started to turn around. 2-0 loss here, a 2-1 loss here, another 2-1 loss, a 4-2 loss against Middlesbrough, 2-1 loss against QPR, Lyndon Dykes getting a couple there. Guess what I changed in this game here? I added the ball winning midfielder. This right. is where I changed the tactic. Right, okay, yeah. Where I had the 4-2-3-1, you can see here, 4-2-3-1, 4-2-3-1, this is where I changed it for these three games here. Uh, and this is where it's starting to make a difference now. The only bad problem is with a ball winning midfielder playing that high press, a ball winning midfielder got himself sent off after 17 minutes. <laughs> but still, we won the game. And that's, it's, that's it's a, a result with 10 men. Yeah, it's a promising way to go forward. And I'm pinning my hopes on it working in the long run once we get used to the system. Uh, and bringing that in. Yeah. Right, okay. Second season then, first season of the championship. Let's see how we do. So a second season sees us in fourth place finish. We the pulled tactic that back, didn't we? definitely worked, which means of course we entered the playoffs. Oh, now I'm nervous. We are playing the playoff final against Ooh. Middlesbrough. So we're going to see well. now how we do in that. In the fourth round, in the fifth round, sorry, of the FA Cup, we were knocked out by Arsenal. That's not a bad FA Cup run for a championship team. Fifth round, get knocked out by Arsenal. First round of the, the, the uh, Carabao Cup, though. The only time Ipswich had won the FA Cup final mm -hmm. was against Arsenal. Really? Yeah, in 1978. And that was exactly 100 years since they were formed. Oh, that's quite cool. So it's a good anniversary to them, really, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Arsenal in the FA Cup, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I'll tell you what. All the time, innit? <laughs> All the time. I watched a few highlights of that game just to sort of bring it back in my mind, and I remembered the highlight. John Warwick hit the post twice. Paul Mariner, my favourite Ipswich player, hit the crossbar. But um, yeah, they pulled it through 1 1 0. Oh, so good win then. Really, yeah. yeah, not bad. Right, let's see how we do in the playoff final. We won. Good win. The playoff final. 5-4. 5-4 <laughs> after extra time at Wembley Stadium. What a game that was. Yeah, that is a massive win for us. I'm really worried though. <laughs> <laughs> We've got up too that's, quick. Yeah, that's that could be a problem, you know. Back-to-back -back promotions yeah. into the Premier League. That could be a problem. I'll, I'll tell you now what, and it's something I found out as well, which was a big surprise to me. First time it switched went into the, the highest league, which was Division 1 then. Yeah. First time they went in there, their first season, they won it. Really? Yeah. You'll never guess who the manager was, because I didn't. Is it Clough? No, Sir Alf Ramsey. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. He, he won, he got us promoted and then he won the league. Yeah. And then obviously he went on better things. Yeah. With England. Yeah, absolutely. So what did he do there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he only won the World Cup. He only went and won the World Cup. Yeah. Oh, that's so, yeah. quite cool. I was surprised with that. And the other, the other manager that's been successful with, with it switched. So they've only won, they've won the league. Which yeah. Was division one at the time. They won the FA Cup. Yeah. And they've also won UEFA Cup. Yes. And the same manager was with the FA Cup 
and the UEFA Cup. Okay, I don't know who that'll be. So Bobby Robson. Bobby Robson. Yeah, oh, now it makes sense. There you yeah, go. I remember yeah. that. And then he went on to quite good things. He went on to be England manager. He got did. Into the semi-finals. Yeah. yeah. Of the World Very Cup. unlucky in the yes. World Cup. And he actually left Ipswich to go to England. Yeah. So Ralph Ramsey left it, switched to go to England. Yeah. So when they were doing successful, that's where the FA come in and they get their managers from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could we? Well, Could we? Well, imagine that. If there's we got, someone else for us to we, do that. Yeah, if we got pipped to be in the England job. <laughs> right. So we're in the Premier League, Dad. Right. Uh, as we can see here, 20 million in the balance overall no debts whatsoever that's a good there's also no transfer budget. i was gonna say they're not gonna give us no money are they nothing no not even a penny or in the wage budget we're overspending by 50 million already i mean you'd think going being in the, the premier league with the tv rights and all that it's, it's gonna be a lot of money they always yep. say there's more so much and you get that parachute thing if you do parachute payments get... if you do go down yeah so i mean even like if we look at the projection here 10 million yeah they're, pre something. they're predicting that we'll have 60 million at the end then it, like it goes on like yeah. obviously this is uh, what the, the game predicts, but things can happen. I can understand them trying to keep us without debt, which is fair enough. Yeah, but honestly, no transfers whatsoever. Could not bring anyone in. We, we've left. We've we've let a few youngsters go, but we could not bring anyone in. I couldn't even get loan deals because we're over the wage budget. They're hanging us. So I mean, <laughs> I've been left out to dry. Look how small our squad is. Yeah. We have one goalkeeper, what five, six defenders. Hardly any. We've got one out and out striker. I don't know what he expects us to do. I don't know what they expect us to do. This is only. I've never seen this happen before. We're going to struggle here, mate. Where you get promoted and you literally have nothing. No. And the worst I thing mean, is. usually fine as well. That some of the promoted sides spend the most money in that, se you know, that first season, didn't they? Yes. I mean, yeah. Even Norwich, they've done it what, a couple of seasons ago. Brentford scored a, a bit of money this year, didn't they? Yeah. And, and like. Oh, look at all the players who are going out of contract in the last year, 24. So that's this is their last year of their deal. That would leave us with, what, one, two, three, four, about nine, ten players. Yeah. We are absolutely well and truly screwed. So if we do take, I mean, we've got to play, I just play the same tactic because I just think, whatever tactic I'm doing, we're, we're screwed. We'll be like, I don't mean. Yeah. Uh, if we take a look at the games that we've played so far, we've been battered. 5-1 by Arsenal. We've had a horrible start, look. Yeah. Arsenal City, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. yeah it, 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 and then Man United. So, <laughs> our first, Man United, that's easy. Yeah, our first Premier League games <laughs> is Arsenal City, Liverpool, Man United, yeah, the, 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 the old top five, four, as it were. Four, but three. we are getting absolutely trapped. Surprised right we got now. away with three at Liverpool, really, to be honest, yeah. I know. Uh, we've won the uh, game against Leighton Orient, though, in the EFL Cup. So, cut run. Um, yeah. So, I mean, what I decided to do was keep coming back during the season then. Because even when I went to, I mean, I'll try it here because I think I tried it right after this, after I saved. If I go into a make ball request, I literally can't even request transfer budget or wage budget. No. Could not even request it. So they wouldn't give me anything. So what I decided to do was go forward and see if we kept getting it sacked and just keep coming back and just ask for some transfer budget and maybe do something in January. Yeah. Maybe, which has never happened in a rebuild before. Usually I just simulate to the end of the season, but I thought this is a special occasion. Try well, it, yeah, let's, let's yeah. try something. So let's come back at a certain point. So we're here in December. <laughs> we're still manager. Oh, hang on, let me go. Hang on, yeah. oh, I found them. And if you look <laughs> all the way down the bottom, here we are on six points. Six uh, points. We have won one game against Villa, 2-1. It must have just been an easy, like, they give us a bye, surely. Uh, we drew three games against Southampton, Crystal Palace and Newcastle. But the rest of those games we have lost. And we have conceded 49 goals in 19 games. So we're getting absolutely battered. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't been sacked already, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. me too. Uh, but if we, what well, well, the funniest thing, if you look at Club Vision, they still give us a C. <laughs> but, I mean, what do they expect? Yeah. What do they honestly expect? Like, we can, well, they're pleased with a draw. <laughs> So we're going into January now. I'm going to request some finances, request some transfer budget, some wage budget, because we still have 40 million in the budget. Let's see what happens. We only want 10. We only want to, I could do it with like just a million yeah. and I could try and do something. <laughs> right, thankfully, 1st of January, I was able to request some new funds. They gave us some new funds. If we take a look at this, they gave us a new budget of 20 million pound. Mm. 20 million pound to work with. That's good. Yeah. Out of our 44, 44 million in the bank. Then I tried signing some players and then we come across another problem. I cannot believe how difficult this board is to work with, but every player that I have come across where I've been able to offer them a deal, it's been blocked because it doesn't go 
with the board's idea of signing somebody who is 21 and under. So the only ones you that we can you actually can't play offer in the Premier League I know. with youngsters, can you? No. You need experienced players in that league. So the Come only on. ones I can actually offer contracts for, Matthias Arezil and Young Sang Bin, who is 21 just uh, just under. So that's just two strikers. So I'm gonna have to go for the rest of January and try and find some players who wants to play for us who are anyone and under and try and talk them out of it it's under the club vision but if i like sign players under the age of 23 for the first team devastated that's because i can't sign anybody yeah. you give me nothing so that's the reason why it's like that even when i spoke to the board they still wouldn't allow me to to do anything they're being very difficult so let's cut towards the end of january and see how it's done right so we're at the end of january and i have managed to bring in some names all of them are 21 or under Right. So we're looking at this, Matthias Arezzo, 2.8 million pound. I've had to like really just scab some money because the trouble is with these players, they want a lot and like they want a lot of dosh. Yeah. And like, I think in this contract, he has the match highest earner clause. That was like, I had to guarantee that. <laughs> he would not even let me take that out. So, and they've all got relegation release clauses because they know what's coming. Yeah. It's an impending really. So we're spending a lot of money, but players like Matthias Arezzo is a wonder kid on the game. People know about him. He's fantastic. He's not amazing. Amazingly, he's not grown amazingly in this. Uh, and in fact, like, we paid 2.8 million pound. He went for a free transfer just before. Believe me, I tried to get him. He didn't want to come to me in the championship. Now we're in the Premier League. He wants to, yeah. even though we're going to go down, <laughs> probably. Jung Sang Bin is also fantastic. We've got him from the Blue Wings team in South Korea. Uh, what I like about him, really aggressive, pressing forward. A lot of pace on the lad. Yeah. Uh, great determination and work rate. Because I was just th literally thinking, we're going to get battered every game because we don't really have a team. We need somebody who's still determined, yeah. who wants to work hard, really. And Someone to put a ball in the back of the net. Yeah, so these two players, scored, yeah. these two players we've brought in from Suwon Blue, Blue Wings, £1.4 million. Pound. He scored 15 goals in 27 games in the Korean League. Yeah. Like, anywhere close to that would be great. Now, we've also managed to pick up a £1.9 million pound bid. 26-year-old, so I did manage to talk to the board to allow me to sign somebody. Yeah. 26 years of age. Now, he's not amazing, but I think as a ball-winning midfielder, he's got like 14 tackling, but he's also good at passing. We need another ball-winning midfielder because, like we've seen already, red cards can happen. Yeah. Using this very high-pressing uh, and, and high-tackling formation. We've got Thomas Belmonte, a bit of a ball player who could also tackle as well. So I'm just bagging these players up got good defense position, good work rate, things like that that we need. He's on loan from Chelsea. Again, he's 25 years of age, so he's a little bit older. Uh, then I stole two players from Dortmund on loan. You've got this guy first. He was 21 when we got him. So oh, he's 23, that their, their thing is, isn't it? But yeah, good acceleration and agility. Uh, the reason why I wanted to sign this guy is he plays on the wings on both sides. Yeah. Because we changed the tactic as well. We've got two strikers now. We need to play them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Nandy Collins is a backup center back that we've brought in as well. Uh, to cover the to cover at the back tactically then i thought we'll just go to this and i've called the tactic save it switch <laughs> oh well, that's what i'm supposed to do so we, we've come away from the rock and roll style of the 433 and we'll go into this we're playing a bit more of a standard 442 with a deep line forward in arezzo and attacking forward in jung san binge to try and find us some goals uh, it's very simple, viewers. It's literally very, very simple. There's nothing too complicated about it whatsoever. It's still a gay compressed style, uh, but we're not going so high. We're just higher line, higher defensive line. Uh, not exactly getting stuck in anymore. We're just trying to steal some points because we're looking very precarious. There's not been a lot of... However, we turn around, look. A 2-1 win against Fulham, a 4-0 win against Newcastle, Jung San Bin, Matthias Rezo getting and we're two. We're still each. in the FA Cup as well. We're still in the FA Cup. Um, so I mean, yeah, it's it's promising. It's promising. Starting to get it. If we take a look at the Premier League, we are still some way off. Eight points behind the drop. Yeah, we're Leeds, look. Leeds you know, come up with us. It switches highest attendance, I think it was thirty eight thousand was against Leeds at home. Really? Yeah, in the in the FA Cup. That's not bad really, is no. it? No. And also another really interesting interested in fact that I found out as well that Portland Road, they been at Portland Road since 1884. Right. They've played at Portland Road. God. At the same stage, just yeah. obviously just re re I think it was so. 78, I think they were formed. Yeah. And um, that, that was like an amateur side and they played like in a field or something like that. But then they, they found Portland Road and they went to Portland Road and played there since then. God. And they weren't they weren't a professional side into the 1930s. Oh, wow, bloody hell. So they played a lot of their amateur football at yeah. Portland Road as well. So yeah. there are many teams that you're going to find that's no. been at their stadiums for over a hundred years. No, not at all. No. I thought that was really interesting, that one. Well, if the money keeps going the way it is, we'll probably be an amateur side again. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, right, let's go towards the end of the season. Let's see if we can save Ipswich from the drop.
Now, something that has never happened in the rebuild, we've been relegated. Yeah, so... Only by three points, though. Only from, by three points. <laughs> Look how close it was at the drop. Oh. We really pulled it back. That second half of the season, we really yeah. pulled it back. Remember, we were only on 12 points. Uh, we went on and won seven games in the end, but three points at the end is so disappointing. And losses to, like, Burnley, who are in 15th. It's such a shame, really, um, that we've we've actually hit the drop. And, like, these players now are going to be up for relegation clauses. That's yeah. our problem. You lose half the squad now. Exactly. So, I mean, Jung San Bin, he came in halfway through the season, got 15 goals in 21 games. Can't yeah. argue with that whatsoever. No. Arezzo's got eight goals and eight assists in 19. Also can't argue with that. It's just... Wow. Bad start killed us. It's, you can't really blame us. No. You have to blame the board here. You have to. Yeah. Look what happened when we, we had the money to buy players. Exactly. Uh, even we, with we restrictions. Yeah, we nearly done it. So, quarter final of the FA Cup. Oh, it's not a bad run, really. Arsenal again, 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 who went on and won the league. Um, yeah. That's back to back years, maybe. Oh, no, Man United won it in between. The third round of the Carabao Cup by Southampton. So, we face the championship again, the hardest league to get out of. Uh, let's take a look at season number four. Now, on the outs, we lost Raheem Harper to Watford. £10 million. He's been a good servant for us for the last three seasons. Uh, but we have definitely replaced him because they gave us some money, thankfully. Yeah, too so, late now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit Premier too League, don't you? First off, we signed Valentin Barco. We needed a left-sided player. He's a bit of a wonder kid on this game as a left-back, I think, bringing him to the Championship. It's a great, great lead for him to uh, show us what he's about. Yeah. Can you get us back up, please, Valentin? We've also, we went on and we signed Grady Diangana. A fantastic winger who will play really well in the championship. Now, I think we stick to this 4-4-2 and just see how we do now that we've got two really good strikers. We bought him from West Brom, £6 million. A lot of money, really, for the championship. Two goals in four, four games, games so already. far from a winger. Good. Not bad at all. No. Doesn't stop there, though, because we have also spent some more money. Jack Stevens, we brought him in uh, as a backup goal keeper David Stockdale's retired now yeah. Jack Stevens from Oxford uh, I think he was their first team goalkeeper to be fair and we've yeah we've, we've signed him for 250k which is quite cheap to be honest he wants a lot of wages though 30k uh, we have also signed Thomas Estevez on loan uh, as a right back really good player but I think the best bit of business that we have done is a free transfer now dad if I good. said to you Italian oh, defenders who would you say is some of the best ever Maldini. Yep. Nesta. Yep. Brazy. Yeah. All three very good ones. And you said the one that I wanted you to say. Because Paolo Maldini, who I think is personally one of the best defenders ever. Yeah. We've signed his son, Daniel. Oh, hello. So from <laughs> AC Milan, he's a third generation player now. Yeah. As a free transfer, he is fantastic, by the way. We've got him coming to the championship. So, I mean, what a player. Yeah. Already valued at 38 to 46 million pounds. Could we sign his dad as, <laughs> yeah, as a staff as well? Yeah, He'd probably do a job still in the championship. <laughs> yeah. He was that good. Yeah. But yeah, we've got him on a free transfer from AC Milan. Never really played that. They never gave him a chance. Okay. I'll give you a little fact about AC Milan. Right, okay. Well, not about AC Milan. That involves AC Milan. Okay. It's switch have never been beaten at home in a European game. They played in quite a few. Oh, wow. But one of the teams they played against is AC Milan, Inter Milan, Real Madrid, Barcelona. <laughs> That's you. That is mental. Isn't Never it? been beaten at home. So what a record that is for them. That is. He might. They might have played against one of the Maldinis. Could have well been. Yeah. It might have been. I yeah. mean, I think like Paolo Maldini might have been a bit too young, but I don't know when his dad played. Yeah, it could he have been might have might have been around about yeah, the same time. So he time. might have been the Portland Road. So I mean, this might be. Uh, a reason why, yeah. maybe. He, he decided, here. yeah, <laughs> my granddad played here. It's same ground, Paul Murrow. They've been here since 1870, did you know, wherever it was. So Daniel Maldini joins us. So tactically, I think we go a little bit more attacking than the 4-4-2. We've gone for a 4 triple 2 because Daniel Maldini is going to slot in perfectly on this right wing. He's right-footed. He's going to bang in some balls for Jung Sang Bing and Matthias Arezzo to bring in some goals for yeah. us in their championship. Really Get is. us back up there because now I think we have a squad to build on. But the parachute payments coming in, the finances that we have are slightly better than what we went up. £106 million now. And we still have £4 million left in they the budget at the end. At the very beginning, oh, they should have done it. So annoying. We could have had three seasons in the Premier yeah. League to actually challenge for something. Yeah. But no, we're back in the championship. We've got to fight our way back Let's out. Let's get on with it then. Let's get on with it. So schedule-wise, we started off really well this season. 3-1 oh, win against Charlton. We had a 4-2 win against Stoke. A one or draw we'll against Norwich. Against Norwich. Oh. Yes. Oh. So, yeah, that was a very tight affair yeah. in the derby. A 3 2 win against MK Dons. And that Caesar placed in fourth place at the start of the season on 10 points, just two points behind Middlesbrough, Derby, and QPR. So, 
We've got a good, good start. start. We need good to build start. on this and see how we do. Let's take a look at the end of the fourth season. So the end of the fourth season. Get in. That's a beautiful good, to see, well, right? As well. Absolutely yeah, beautiful to see. Look at our goal difference. Completely That's smashed it. Jung yeah. San Bing, 34 goals. Yes, please. He's becoming a bit of a legend at the club already. Uh, and they're giving us a B plus now. So they're all season as well, look. Exactly. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. So the past positions. Once we left that point where we were third or fourth place, bang, we were at the top. Yeah. And we never dropped off. We were very good this season. Other competitions then. The fifth round of the FA Cup by Chelsea. The fourth round by Arsenal Arsenal again. Game. They keep knocking us out of these yeah. cups all the time. So, I mean, let's take a look at the Sky Best Championship a set. Because Jung San Bin was a second top scorer of the league. But average rating, George Edmondson again. He stayed with us from the start. Yeah. We've got Jewsbury Hall, who's been playing really well for us as well. He's a centre midfielder that we brought in. I uh, forgot to mention it, I think, actually. But we got him on a free transfer. And he played at Norwich in the season before. <laughs> so, But stick. look what he did for us. 28, 28 assists, assists yeah. in the league alone. That's mental numbers. Uh, considering he had 11 more than Patrick Roberts from Swansea. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic, really, for him to score that, well, to him to assist that amount of goals for us. Yeah. If we take a look at the squad, Jung San Bing scored 34. George Edmondson Got got twenty six from centre back corner tactics corner tactics you got to look it up lads I tell you you got to look it up twenty five goals from Matthias Arezzo as well fourteen from Daniel Maldini we're going to the Premier League Daniel we're going to take you with us thirty four in total uh, for Dewsbury Hall who I think actually has been playing games for Leicester now and been getting some big praise in yeah. real life so Matt Penny also our left back getting sixteen assists and Dean Garner who's been playing I think on the left hand side got fourteen assists assists coming from everywhere that's mm. Perfect scenario for us. And uh, our, our two strikers, they're benefiting from that. Okay, fifth season. Let's hope for a better one in the Premier League, please. Let's let's get some money and let's actually try some. We take let's a look. Get, I'll spoil it let's now. Have a good go at it. They've given us 43 million. Oh, nice. So we've been given a good amount and a big wage budget as well. We've got a couple of players leaving, actually. Uh, our goalkeeper didn't want to stay on. Fair enough. Yeah. We don't need you now. We'll get somebody else. Yeah. So let's take a look at who we actually brought in. Okay, with no players on the outs, we first off brought in Peony Sisto. Now, football manager fans may like this guy because a few years ago he was one of the go-to signings to make. He's Still at the same club as well, Midland. That's where we bought him from. Three million pound is all we spent. Uh, that's this is where everybody used to love him around this area, like FM 14, 15. He was yeah. class. Yeah. Uh, he's, he moved on to Spain, didn't do really well there. Came back came to Midland, uh, but now we signed him in the Premier League. So he's a fairly decent winger that can play on both sides. That's what I liked about him. Thirty years of age now. We have also signed Jack Stacy from Bournemouth. Now, this guy's a really good right back. We've lost a couple of right backs left on free transfers. Uh, and I think this is a bit of a steal, to be honest. £10 million. I think he's done quite well for Bournemouth, considering they were in the Premier League. He got a seven rating. Yeah. Bournemouth aren't really necessarily going to be high in the Premier League. No. So a defender getting that high of a rating uh, tells me that he does perform quite well. His physicals, I think, are definitely the standouts there. Yeah. That natural fitness and stamina, the work so, rate. Yeah. This is what we want to see, yeah, to definitely. be honest. You need in this league. Absolutely. And our coach is even rating quite highly as well. So I think he'll play quite quite often for us. And a sign that we made from Spurs, Dominic Solanke. Now, another guy who also who is uh, playing for Bournemouth currently in real life. Yeah. 27 years of age, this guy's a very good English striker in the game. People yeah. may think he's terrible in real life, but in the game, he works quite well. He's got good finishing and good pace and decent off the ball, which means he creates a lot of chances. This is what we need, really. 6'2 as well, so he's taller than the two strikers that we've got, so mm. I think it's a bit of variety. Yeah. Uh, he's also scored one goal in two games for us already. £5.7 million that we've bought him for, considering he went to Spurs for £25 million. It's a bit of a steal, really. Yeah. <laughs> Nuno Tavares on that left-hand side is just bringing more squad players in because, obviously, we didn't have that... Uh, luxury when we're in the Premier no. League the first time. So I think that's a good signing for us on a free transfer from Arsenal. Uh, he played in the Championship last season and did quite well for Preston. But of course, we lost our goalkeeper. I've made a big signing and I'm very, very happy with it. Nick Pope. Good. I'm really happy with that goalkeeper. Definitely, yeah. Yes. So, um, the beauty about it, he was trained at Ipswich, which means 
He was an Ipswich boy. That's where he started his career. Oh, there we go. This is a he's, lovely signing. He's come home to the tractor boys, isn't exactly. he? Exactly. When I first seen that he that I could potentially get Nick Pope, I was like, oh, he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah. Clicked on it. And then I seen that he was trained at Ipswich. I was like, hey, it's got to happen. I've yeah. got to get this deal over the line. So, it's probably been his ambition to play for Ipswich yeah, in the Premier League. In the really. Premier League. I mean, yeah. when they were there, they were in the Championship. He never actually played for them. He went out on for, for a free transfer to Bury. Never played. That's when he got his move to Charlton. We can see he's just been everywhere. Yeah. Finally gets his break at Burnley where I personally think he's a fantastic goalkeeper. Uh, I know a lot of people say maybe he's not as good as what some people make out, but shot stopping, things like that, mm. I think he's fantastic yeah. with. Uh, and we can see that here. Reflexes are great. It's just his distribution I think people are a little bit on edge with. But I think it's a fantastic pick-up for us. He's the best us. keeper in the world, but he, no. for us, he's one of the best ones we could afford, probably afford. Exactly, I like yeah. it. He's homegrown, yeah. English, young girl. Well, he was young. 33 now. We caught, caught him at the end of his career. Still a lot to go, really. We're paying him a very hefty wage of yeah, 74k, but that is, what, that is what is what we have to do now yeah. uh, because we're in the Premier League. How have we been doing, though? Uh, so, schedule-wise, it's not been a bad start. We had a 4-1 loss to Chelsea, which you'd expect us, really, to yeah. lose. 5-2 against Brentford. That's good. Then a tight game against Southampton where they've actually gone and scored three really late goals. From, well, no, two late goals, but also two in back-to-back 60th and 61st. Deli Alley there, look. Deli Alley at Southampton. Spurs finally got rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> so not bad whatsoever, I don't think. Uh, if we take a look at the tactic, I think we're going to go back to this. The same thing. We've just changed the roles at the, at the top here to a pressing forward and an advanced forward. That's how we're going to line up the attacking playmaker or advanced playmaker, box to box. In the midfield, we're staying very positive, keeping it very simple in the tactic itself. But yeah, I want to see how we do in this. I think it was enough to keep us up anyway. Yeah. So we survived the season just in the Premier League Ooh. by a point. And we got the game we, we lost, lost the last as well. five. Now, no <laughs> so, way. Well, Spurs got relegated. Yes. <laughs> I was waiting to see how long it took you to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Spurs went down. <laughs> we actually that. relegated Spurs. How mental is that, by the way? That's <laughs> funny. I can't believe that. So what I wanted to show you as well. And we lost we lost the last five games and Spurs still got and relegated. And they still got relegated. They still well. got relegated. If we take a look at this. Arsenal beat us 11-1 towards the end of the season. We had a terrible time. That's, that's the worst Premiership beating they've had. It, yeah. it used to be 9-0 against Man United. Yeah, which obviously Man United matched, I think, and against also, Southampton as well. that is their worst league defeat as well. Yeah. The worst league defeat used to be 10-1 against Fulham. I don't know what league right. it was in. But the Premier League, it was against Man United 9 0. Yeah. The worst league defeat was 10 1. Well, we've topped that. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we, I mean, Arsenal's doing their best there to keep Spurs one. in the league. <laughs> Destroying us that bad of our goal difference. I mean, if you look at this, like how bad this looks, like there's hardly any wins. But like some crucial back to backs there Middlesbrough and Swansea, West Ham. I wonder how he actually did against Spurs. So we lost against Spurs there 3 1. Uh, Harry Kane still there. So Harry Kane's relegated. You still had like Harry Kane and you still got relegated. Yeah. It's absolutely But he didn't stay there for next season. <laughs> <laughs> and at the start of the season was a 1 0 draw. No way. But. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Who is who? Diego Simeone? That's the Atletico Madrid manager. Oh, I'd never believe that. No. I'll tell you what, I would, I would take that. I'm not at the present moment because we've got Conte and I think he's he's yeah. He's just starting, so I want to give him a chance, but I would take him any yeah. time as a manager. But look at this team that got Friendly relegated. Got look at it. I mean, you got Danny Olmo, who's fantastic from Red Bull. Uh, you still had Hyun Son. He's there. There's Hyun Ming Son. There. Harry Kane's still there. Mm. You've got certain, like Oxlade Chamberlain. Yeah. You've got some unbelievable players. Some players that we signed in rebuilds. Caligari yeah. being one. There was the Hoiberg still there. Vinagre. Sule as a defender. I don't understand. Oh, Nana. We talk about how good this goalkeeper is on multiple rebuilds. Yeah. And you've been we're relegated. Always, we're always glad to sign him, haven't we? I know. <laughs> so somehow. He deserves to be sacked. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. I mean, what's worse is Arsenal won the league as well. So oh. that's a horrendous season. Yeah. yeah. Really, really bad. Not to rub it in anymore. But Ipswich stayed up. 32 points. <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> Great. 
unfortunately for you. Other competitions then. Let's see how we got on there. Uh, the FA Cup final is still to be played between Manchester United and Villa. And we knocked out the quarter final of the Carabao Cup by Liverpool. So overall, it's not a bad season whatsoever for Ipswich. 19 goals from Jung Sang Bin. He's been a fantastic servant of the club. Uh, really good. If anybody has a chance to pick him up, make sure you do. Because he's 19 or 18 at the start of the game. Really fantastic player. George Edmondson gets 15 goals. Matthias Reza gets 14. So it's a lot less than last season where we were dominating the league. Yeah. Um, but we, we were in survival mode towards that end of the season. And somehow we survived. And Spurs <laughs> went down. Hey. Well. We haven't been sacked. No, I can't believe it. I mean, we've been sacked for a lot less than yeah. what happened in this. But 100%. I think we went back. And I yeah. think that's the reason why we went sacked think, at the end. I think our, our biggest achievement really was getting out of the championship twice. Twice, yeah. yeah. Uh, B- overall from the club vision, which, yeah, it's not bad at all keeping oh, them in the Premier League. They're not expecting they didn't, they didn't give us the money the first time. They give us the money the second time and we stayed in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've done our job. Uh, but viewers, let us know down in the comments any more suggestions. Yeah. There's Patreon polls that's going on right now. Keep, keep the likes coming in as well. Absolutely. You that hit a thousand times. Time. Yeah, that was good. Let's, so, let's go for 1,500 then. 1,500? All right. Well, Keep you guys in the button. Premier really make, need to make sure because yeah. there's like 200 people in the Premier and there's only like 100 likes. Yeah. So let's make sure you're all hitting that like button Keep as well. Keep the comments coming. Keep the, the comments, comments coming. The Patreon is down, down in the description should you want to influence the votes. There's an Italian one going on right now for future. It's which was voted recently. So all of your suggestions go into these polls and that's who we will rebuild in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Dad, Tottenham were relegated. I just want to say it again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.